using nasal naloxone to reverse opiate overdose. Naloxone is a medicine and is also known as Narcan. When someone overdoses on opiates, they stop breathing. Naloxone reverses opiate overdose so they can breathe again. Opiates include drugs like heroin, methadone, oxycontin, Vicodin, Percocet, codeine, and fentanyl. Naloxone does not reverse overdose from drugs like cocaine, meth, alcohol, or benzodiazepines like Xanax or Valium. Step 1. How do you know if someone is overdosing? There are several signs. Not breathing, or breathing is very slow or shallow. Turning pale, blue, or gray, especially in their lips or fingernails. Making snoring, gurgling, or choking sounds. Becoming limp, throwing up, or not responding to yelling or other stimulation. The quickest way to see if the person is responsive is to take your knuckles and rub them firmly up and down the person's chest bone. If the person does not respond, check for breathing. Watch their chest to see if it rises and falls. Put your ear near their face to listen and feel for breaths. Step 2. Call 911. If the person does not respond and is not breathing, call 911 immediately. There may be complications that need medical attention, or the person may have overdosed on something besides heroin or other opiates. Emergency medical services are critical. Step 3. Rescue breathing. If the person is not breathing, start breathing for them. First, make sure their airway is clear. Check for food or anything else in their mouth. When their mouth is clear, tilt their forehead back and lift their chin. Pinch their nose and give them one normal breath every five seconds. Continue doing this for about 30 seconds. Step 4. Give Naloxone. If the person is still not breathing, it is time to use your Naloxone. Your kit should include at least these three parts, an atomizer, a vial of naloxone, and a plastic applicator. First, take the yellow caps off the applicator. Then take the cap off the naloxone. The naloxone container is made of glass, so be careful not to drop or break it. Screw the atomizer to the top of the applicator using the plastic wings. Insert the open end of the naloxone into the wide end of the applicator. Gently twist until you feel it catch. If naloxone leaks out of the top of the applicator, stop twisting. Each vial contains 2 milliliters of naloxone. Spray half the naloxone up one nostril until you reach the 1 milliliter mark. Switch nostrils and spray the rest of the naloxone. Step 5. Give more rescue breathing. It may take several minutes for the naloxone to kick in. Brain damage can occur after three to five minutes without oxygen, so you need to breathe for the person until the naloxone kicks in. Give one breath every five seconds. If the person has not woken up after three minutes, give them a second full dose of naloxone. Continue giving one breath every five seconds until they wake up or until emergency medical services arrive. Step 6. Follow-up. If the person is dependent on heroin or other opiates, they may go into withdrawal after you give them naloxone. Withdrawal symptoms can include vomiting, diarrhea, sweating, and agitated behavior. This may be unpleasant and dramatic, but it is not life-threatening 
and only lasts until the naloxone wears off. Tell them that naloxone wears off in 30 to 45 minutes and there are still drugs in their system. Within 90 minutes, the withdrawal effects will be gone. Watch the person for at least an hour or until emergency medical services arrive in case they go back into overdose. When they wake up, keep them calm. Recommend that they seek medical attention and help them if necessary. Do not let them use more heroin or other opiates. The naloxone will block it and they could overdose again once the naloxone wears off. Recovery Position If you have to leave the person at any point, put them in the recovery position. Roll them over slightly on their side. Bend their top knee. Put their top hand under their head to support it. This position should keep them from rolling over onto their stomach or back so they won't choke if they vomit. Prevent overdose. Opiate overdose is most common when your tolerance is down after you take a break from using, when you mix drugs, especially combinations of downers like heroin, methadone, or other opiates, alcohol, and benzodiazepines, when you've been sick, tired, run down, or dehydrated, or when you use stronger drugs than usual. To prevent overdose, go slow after breaks or if you're using something stronger, be careful when mixing drugs, take care of yourself, eat, sleep, and drink water. Review. If you think someone is overdosing, check for responsiveness by rubbing your knuckles hard on their chest bone. Call 911. Breathe for them for 30 seconds. Give a first dose of naloxone. Continue breathing for them for three minutes. Give them a second dose of naloxone if they have not woken up or started breathing. After they wake up, monitor them to make sure they do not overdose again. Put them in the recovery position if you have to leave. Refills. Ask your trainer how to get refills in case you use your naloxone and need more.